Yes, I know, I'm not starting off where I ended the last video. Here's the thing. This is a relatively old save file which I created when I was trying to level grind everybody to max level. Apparently, when I was after I leveled Ogden to max level, it creates a glitch. And I wasn't aware of this because during my first playthrough of this game, which I play more as kind of a practice slash own entertainment thing, I didn't realize how near end game. I was, so it was kind of a bit late for me to max level everyone like I have a tendency to do in these games. So I was unaware that by attempting to do this it will just randomly freeze on me. So, I don't know. I'm hoping I can get through this game without having it freeze randomly now. If not, I have a very old save file where odd game is a little over half the uh, HP keys that were in this file. Excuse me, but that's not good. If this file doesn't work, I'm hoping I can use that. Because I'm not worried about end game boss kicking my ass due to me being under leveled. Like, even in the old file, the file that I not using currently. Like, I'm not in game level easily. Easily at end game level. I just like being max level because it gives me that sense of satisfaction. Of yeah, I got everybody to max. Good for me. Pat myself on the back sort of thing. Also, I know this video is coming up very late. That's actually got nothing to do with the game breaking glitches and freezing and everything to do with the fact that I have a very busy, hectic work schedule now. And not just that, where I work, the hours are long. And it's a long commute to get there. So when I was working evenings last week, I didn't have time to record or get. By the time I got home, I was just simply too tired record a video, I pretty much wanted to get straight to bed. Now, when I was working days the previous week, it was only two days, and I'm not sure what it will be like this week when I'm on days. One thing you gotta understand is, as I said, I live very far away from Definitely going to be moving closer to this if I can. Okay, excuse me. But we're on Friday when I had to start the shift at 6 a.m. The day before I was expected to at 8. I checked my city's bus schedule to see how I can get there on time, and it turns out that if I were to rely on 
the city's bus schedule and the buses that are close to where I am, the earliest I'd be able to get to work, I'd be a half hour late every day. So on Friday, when I had to be there at 6 a.m., I got up very early in the morning and walked about an hour, probably more because it was cold and there's snow on the ground. Walked an hour to catch the downtown bus so I could get to work on time. Saying that, here's the thing. I was checking my local city bus schedule for advance times as to when the bus is running and how I can catch it. And the bus that I need to catch is at the go station. And I couldn't help but notice that when I was sitting there in the freezing cold at the go station waiting for the horse ready bus. The go buses were running. And I noticed that the one bus that was running was the bus I take to pretty much take the go train to go visit my family in Oshawa. So, on Monday, I am going to be checking the Google Maps because Google Maps does factor into, does factor the Go Bus. I have heard 
so many reasons. I can't all. Oh, I like the first one being. It was pretty. It showed faces when we'll have an extra Extra hour of sunlight for something, and I'm risking it with myself either farmers for fuck's sake. Doesn't matter what the fuck says, they're gonna be getting up before the clock of dawn, no matter what the time is. The official time, anyways. And then I heard it was created for, uh, storefronts because people are more likely to do their shopping. And it's sunny out. Oh, well, I'm thinking is. That doesn't really make any sense either, so that is the most plausible explanation I've heard. I just wish they'd scrap it, like. I know other provinces have scrapped it, I don't even know if other provinces even you know, have already got it in Canada. I don't know any person I've ever met, whether in person or in any capacity, who actually likes this. Like I, 
I'm one of these people I don't necessarily have to like my job, I just have to not hate it. Like, I work for
I like my Japanese role playing games in here. I like my Western role playing 
feel great.
Look at that stuff. I know I can go tobacco they were smoking was supposed to have that kind of wacky tobacco effect. It's been a while since I last read the books. I'm just saying. I don't think it was supposed to have that effect. Is this the end game? Because if this is the end game, this is definitely not the end game that I was doing when I first played this game. Which kind of has me going, what the hell is up with this game? Do side quests factor into it? Like, you know, go capture this monster, go kill this monster, go find my lunch bag in this area. Like, does that factor into this? Guys, Mistress and Zia dying in Skyron of the Multi Gods. Is that pronounced Skyron or Scion? I'm a professional, a published author, I feel like I should know this. Why should I get to me being a published author? I find I learn a lot of my words by reading. <laughs> And the problem with learning vocabulary by reading is it doesn't necessarily teach you how to properly pronounce it. 
you will read a word, you will kind of read it in your head. This is how it's spelled, so that's how it must be pronounced. And then if you're ever in a situation where you want to speak a word, and yes, speak the word, yeah, learn by reading it, by reading. And people have no idea what it is you're saying, and you feel embarrassed, and they make fun of you, and yes, they have no right to make fun of you, because, uh, let's just say that whenever it happened to me where I will try to say a word I learned by reading and I mispronounce it, the people who will make fun of me for it are the kind of people who Definitely will not be learning any new words by reading, you know? Definitely not the, uh... The kind of people who don't try to sort of pursue... Education or knowledge outside of, say... Pop culture. So when they're at a fan times the exact opposite, I know fuck all about pop culture. I tell, I think the last movie I saw, and it wasn't even in theaters, I bought it off the PlayStation Network, was Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom. Worst Jurassic Park movie, and that's saying something, I always like a dinosaur movie, no matter how bad the movie is, I like Jurassic Park 3. But anyway, aside from... I think Jeff Goldblum, I think that's the guy's name, I like stuff. I'm not even sure what the actor's name is, but the, uh, the actor I find very annoying because of his kind of gimmick. I have no clue what people are in the I really don't. I don't know who people are. I don't care. But if I find the movie entertaining, I find the movie entertaining. I'm not going to care who plays it or what their past roles were or what they're going to be doing in the future. Even music. Like, my favorite band is Tool, and I don't even know all the band members' names. My second favorite band is Blind Guardian, and I have no idea the names of the people in that band. If I like your music, I like your music. That's all it's going to factor into me, you know? I'm not going to care about your personal life. Just, you know, keep me entertained with your music. That's all I ask. Other than that, I'm gonna mind my own business. And recent music...
satisfied people pretending to be pissed off that they're backwards and they want to be, be, be able to play these games that they did not get to play before, even with that. Let's see how this is off. Chances are available, you know. Last generation, not that but two generations ago. At least it's the most That's a game is new, even though they know it's not. So they buys the top of the data, HD, whatever, addiction to get to play the uh, old game that they probably always intended to play, but because Like me, I don't, I have a backlog of games on my PS3 3DS. I think I do, I know I still have a game that I want to have a game that I played. Even my PS4, I have a lot of games that I still have a game 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 that I still Population console, which is great for playing a lot of old games that I never really even had the option to play before, and I am enjoying it a lot. I'm just saying, like, you know, I guess ever since getting digital, you're gonna get a pack of water. It's not like how it was back when I was back when I was a kid, or even not long ago. to check out a game before I made the decision to buy it. I'm gonna let the end credits roll to at least give the people who made this game their credits they deserve, but then I'm gonna keep on rambling. And like, but like nowadays, if, if there's a game that I am interested in, I find I have to go and hope there's a decent 
LP or something on YouTube before I make the final decision to buy the game. Because even if I were making good money, I don't want to waste it on crap. <laughs> like, I will take a risk if the price is right. And even then, there's been a few games Specifically on my 3DS, where the price was definitely right, and I took the risk, and well, let's just say it's a game that's going to be wasting, doing nothing but waste space. I'm in the right car, you know. That's all it's gonna do. That's all it's ever gonna be, and because I'm too stubborn and I don't want to delete it off my little cartoon, but fuck the damn thing, you know? Fuck the damn thing, you know? I'm just saying, I probably should delete it, but I mean, I got plenty of space as it is. I'm just saying, like, you know, buyer beware. Buyer beware, and when it comes to video games, I am, or any entertainment for that matter, I am always, no matter what I buy, buyer beware, unless it's something I'm morbidly curious about and I know I'm not gonna necessarily like. Like, if you've seen some of the beginning videos of my last try, especially my last channel. I had a compilation channel with somebody I refuse to mention nowadays, but I was doing like Let's Tries of uh, foods, which I was pretty sure was going to be disgusting. But it's one of those things where even if you hate it, it's worth trying once just to say you've had it, you know? Like Escargo. Uh, first off, I'm gonna be honest with you, I am not the type to necessarily be disgusted by eating bugs. Like, first off, eating bugs, or more specifically, not eating bugs, is more a uh, North American culture thing. Maybe most of Europe, but Australia, but like most cultures. Have sort of some sort of insect in their diet. It's not like it's unhealthy or dirty. I tell you, probably seems we eat on a normal food store basic food is a hell of a lot more dirty and unhealthy than say crickets or mealworms. Well, like, yeah, I do things like eat bugs, and the bugs I found delicious. I found some overpriced for what they were. Again, because they're a gimmick food. In my culture, they're not a diet stable, they're a uh, gimmick food, a uh, lot like carnival food. In fact, they're probably on the same level as carny food. I'm just saying, like, I'd buy the kind of carny stuff I doubt I am going to like and try it and then go, yeah, I'm never buying this again. Fortunately for this channel, like, okay, it is having me save my game. Which means I'm going to end this rambling. Or no, it means I'm going to check. Yes, see that. To be continued, there better be a third game. Thanks for watching, everybody. Take care and bye.